Gibiot continues to prove why Korean anime are better than Japanese anime despite both being made in Japan. The new mission is about securing research that can lead to the cure of the pandemic that Big Brother is using for making you think a seasonal flu will kill us all. Oh, 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 sorry, I meant a disease that turns people to monsters. So the retrieval mission includes a man who is a scientist and is therefore useful, four men with weapons who can defeat the monsters and are therefore useful, and two airhead bimbos who don't know shit about the cure, can't fight, and should have stayed in in the kitchen making sandwiches for the men. I mean, seriously, why are they there? They offer nothing besides more instances of bad writing. The teenager head is doing nothing but filming herself and the men, saying a whole bunch of nothing that are supposed to be fleshing them out as characters, when in reality it's worthless information that offers nothing to the plot and that should have been shown in the plot instead of being forcefully infodumped like that. Therefore, she is completely worthless to the plot and the more she ducks, the more she makes you think she's the protagonist of a date sim for girls. Just there ogling the men who are doing all the work instead of doing something useful herself. This part of the whatever you can call plot is completely detached from whatever else is going on. It's like it exists in a different dimension. And so are the flashbacks to feudal Japan where the time-traveling dudes came from. I get that they exist for fleshing them out, but again, they have no connection with what is going on now. It's like you are watching a period drama when the series is supposed to be a zombie apocalypse thriller. And then there's her mother who exists solely for info dumping random bits of information when someone asks something. She's a walking Wikipedia that blabbers lore and geography that, again, have no effect on the plot. And it's even more ridiculous when she's used for Captain Obvious moments, such as, hey, look at that building in front of us that for some reason only I can see, and you can only notice if I point my finger at it. Said building is a museum that happens to have legendary weapons for the time-traveling warriors to use. They just happen to be there all at once, and they conveniently gave them all a power-up. Because training is overrated, and so are machine guns, which for some reason are not as effective as clubs and swords. Also, that means the sacrifice of that old man from before was pointless, because he was abandoned to go fetch a common sword that led to his death and which instantly became worthless the moment they found the museum. And I need to mention the cliffhangers, where they stop the episode every time a monster is about to kill someone. What's the point of doing that when it's not going to happen? It's fake tension and only makes the series even worse than it is already. Man, screw this show and go back to watching God of High School, a high-quality series because it's from Korea.